Hey, fuckers. Happy Sunday evening. So I thought I'd do a reading for you guys tonight with the love oracle cards. Let's see what's going on in your love life. <laughs> All right, tap that screen. Okay, so things didn't go the way they planned is what this card says. So there's some sort of unexpected outcome to some sort of a love situation that you had had. It did not go as the way you planned it to go. Um, you've been working on trying to heal, doing some self-love as a result of this. So whatever happened didn't go well for you, for sure. Um, there's, there was disagreements with this, with this love connection. There was, yeah, this person, you didn't feel like they understood how you felt. Um, you're trying to heal from this. So whatever it was, was definitely a heart chakra. And, um, they feel like they should have expressed themselves to you a lot better than they did. That's why things didn't go the way it pl that you planned right there. I could tell you. Um, yeah. You're not in any communication with this person. You are missing this person. I feel like you're you're missing this person looking at their photos and their videos with nostalgia. Wishing, wait, wishing, yearning, wanting to heal this connection. Um, wanting to talk to this person. You feel I feel like you have unfinished business, like you want to talk to this person, like you have a lot to say to this person. Um, yeah. You felt like this person didn't care about you. This person broke your heart. And you didn't feel appreciated by this person. This person did not treat you very well. Okay, this person treated you like you were just some, dare I say it, cum dumpster. Um, whether they actually were able to dump a load in you, they still treated you that way, nonetheless. Okay? Um... They're, they're saying that they need more time to think, that they need the space to think about things. So something in this dynamic has really thrown them for a loop too. Um, yeah. You really affected this person's heart chakra. This person feels like once you're together, you'll be inseparable. And no matter the distance, no matter what happens between the two of you, your love will always be there. And I feel like you feel this way too. I feel like this is a lot in your thoughts, heavily in your thoughts, when you're when you're literally taking that time and meditating. And, and I feel like you're doing whoever you are in this collective and take it how it resonates. But I feel like you're doing a nightly meditation for self-healing, self-love, which is kudos to you. Good job. Um, but in that meditation, you're feeling like, okay, you, the most of your thoughts are about this person, about this unfinished business that you have with this person, this non, no closure. And the reason is because you know that you love each other. You know it's real. And you'll be damned if you go the rest of your life without at least trying to explore it. There's ego here. Your person has a huge ego. Like I said, your person treated you, they may not have used you for a, a dumpster, <laughs> but they treated you like someone that they would. They're very egotistical. Um, they had a lot of, it looks like, I feel like they had a lot of attention from other people. Like they're very charismatic, they're very good looking, they attract people easily and know how to talk to people. And I feel like they were, still are, have a real huge ego. And, and that attention plays on that ego. And of course they like that attention. So the more they like, the more they want and the more they you welcome it, okay? There's regret here. <laughs> um, this missed opportunity is definitely regretted by both of you. Mm -hmm. This person thinks about you too person thinks about you when they look at your photos that they still saved on their their uh their their you know their photos and their phone their tablet whatever that they look at them on in the bathroom um i'm i'm picking up it's got to be a phone so 
yeah. Sometimes a tablet, sometimes a laptop, but it could be a laptop, but it's more a phone in the bathroom. This person's watching videos of you in the bathroom, masturbating, pleasuring themselves. Um, things got a little too real between the two of you and your person ran. They ran because they were getting attention from other people and it was fueling their ego. So they just weren't ready to give you the type of relationship that you deserve. Like I said, they may not have used you as a dumpster in the physical realm, but that's how they treated you. They neglected to give you what you needed in this connection. They neglected to treat you that, to treat you right. Like I said, um, they know that you love this person. They know that the love that you have for this person, that the love you have shown this person with your actions can never, ever be replaced by someone else. Um, <laughs> it can never be matched by anybody else in the physical realm. They know that. They have realized that. And I feel like you feel like you should have expressed yourself better to them too. It's not just the other person. It's it's both of you. Um, oh, sweet. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune, that is divine timing. Luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in the, in the good way. This is a positive outcome card. And divine timing is at work here, Abby. So it wasn't the right time. That's all it was. And even though it was a disappointment to you, it wasn't the right time. All is not lost, though. You see the cups in the back? And then, of course, with the judgment card, this is popping out because someone is going to take accountability in this dynamic. Someone is going to take accountability for what they did, their actions. There's going to be a complete redo of this connection. Balance will be restored. Um, this person is going to be willing to put the work in. Oh, yeah. They're going to be willing. You're worth the investment to them. With the Knight of Wands, this person's going to come forward with some sort of new idea, uh, some sort of excitement, unexpected, you know, spontaneous, passionate offer. With the Three of Wands, they're planning it right now. They're sitting back. They're watching you on some of your social media. They're watching you glow up on social media, social platforms, whatever you're on. They're watching your Facebook stories, your Facebook walls. And again, with the world card, <laughs> this is a completion to the silence that's going on with the two of you. You're in no contact, no communication. This is will complete that cycle. Like I said, divine timing is at work. <laughs> you, you do have unfinished business, but that will be completed because your person's coming back. Your person's going to communicate to you. I do feel like this very strongly that you're going to hear from this person. Balance will be restored. And see there? When balance is restored, this person comes back. And you will see finally that it's divine timing at work. That's when you're going to let the baggage go. You're going to let it all go behind you. And, and you'll be in a new direction in your life. Completely new direction. This is going to change your whole life. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Complete wish fulfillment for you and for your person. This is everything you've ever wanted. This is you are everything they've ever wanted. You're their wish fulfillment just like they're your wish fulfillment. Okay, and with the, see this, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this person is coming forward with confidence. Um, they're still going to be a little bit on the insecure side just because they're still a little wondering what's, you know, where they stand with you. But they're definitely coming in with a romantic offer. 